Previously on Predict the Six. After a positive last few weeks for Jen, where she was beginning to claw back the points gap, last week she got zero points on the board with her predictions. I'm going to say that our both going to win against Dundee. I just have a feeling I'm going to back Breakin. Just because, I don't know, like every week, I have to have a draw in the mix. And this is my draw. And after a negative last few weeks for me, I picked up one point last week. But a recommendation from Glasgow's Green and White on Instagram didn't exactly go the way we all thought. I have been struggling the last few weeks. And for my first prediction this week, I've taken some inspiration off of one of you lot. So to Glasgow's Green and White on Instagram, their wee comment will pop up here right now. They asked us in general to predict that Celtic will beat Livingston on Sunday. So far though, that puts the scores on Jen on 7 points and me once again starting to pull away now on 9 points. So here we are back again, predict the 6. Who knows what week of the season this is but we're here every single week with us. But regardless, we're always here with Jenny. The like tag is the first thing we always say, it's getting very repetitive this sort of format but it seems to be working, you lot seem to be enjoying it. So. Jen's like target, what is it this week? So last week we absolutely smashed it, so I'm going to keep it the same, 85 likes, let's see if we can smash it again and next week I'll put it up. Do your thing. Do not let us down on the like target lads, we rely on you to keep us smiling when it comes to looking at these videos. Yum. Who's going to go first this week? I'll go first. You go first, go for it him. My first game is Inverness versus Alwa. Which competition is this? Carmel. <laughs> Dance Carmel over. Challenge Cup. Challenge Cup. <laughs> okay, so my points are quite to the point this week just because I mean there's no games to choose. <laughs> Literally. So I thought I'm not gonna waste my time researching all these when it doesn't really matter. So yeah, all my points are pretty much the same just According to the teams. <laughs> Jen doesn't care about the Challenge Cup. Oh! Inverness have been unbeaten in eight games. And they're third in the Scottish Championship table. Unbeaten in eight games? Eight games. Eight games? Eight games. Two Jen once, but they've won all the ones. I did check these stats. But I'm assuming you're correct. Would you like to check them? I had to check it twice. No, I'll be fine. I'll rely on them lot to tell you if you're wrong. Okay, and Allah have been unbeaten in three games. Two. Three. It's two. It's three. No, because they lost to Ayr <laughs> and then drew against us and then won against the United. It's two. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's wrong. <laughs> two games. And they're eighth in the Scottish Championship table above Dunfermline. Alright. for that. <laughs> just thought I'd add that in there. So I'm going to go for an Inverness win just because they've been unbeaten in 8 games. To be confirmed. <laughs> and Al was, last Friday was probably just a one off so I reckon Inverness is going to win. I think it's very harsh to say that Al will be a flash in the pan sort of thing. I think it was just a one off. Right so my first fixture is going to be the first English league fixture that I'm going to actually have been to in my life. I've never actually went to an English game. I've been to English stadiums, but I've not been to an actual English game. Carlisle playing at home to Crew Alexandra, and it's an interesting fixture because I've looked at the league tables. Obviously, I don't follow English football that much, especially when it comes to English League Two as well, the bottom tier English football. There's absolutely no chance I'm keeping up to date with that every single week. Carlisle are 18th and have a really kind of mid-table type form so far, and Crew Alexandra. They've had two draws in the last two league games, but they sit on 23 points with the team sitting in top spot on 24. So for that reason, and that reason alone, I'm going to say a crew Alexandra win. My next game is Arbroath versus Adrianians. Arbroath versus Clyde. Oh my god, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Arbroath versus Clyde. Arbroath got beat in the last three games they've played. But they're sitting seventh in the Scottish Championship table. You predicted them to win last week, didn't you? Yep. And they lost. <laughs> 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 they're playing Clyde. They lost last week, but before that, unbeaten in six games. 
He was coming out with a lot of stats here about unbeaten in this. I didn't believe any of them. You can check. So even though our both lost last week, I've still got a little place in my heart. They're going to win it and they're a league above Clyde, so I don't see why not. Right, second one up for me. Partick Thistle v Connors Key Nomads. Now, I made a prediction at the start of the season for like the rest of my SPFL predictions in terms of like, the Betfred Cup, Scottish Cup. This competition also as well, that being the Tunnets come away for Challenge Cup. And I actually ended up predicting that Dunfermline were going to win it and that was mainly just black and white tinted specs really. It wasn't a, probably a genuine prediction. I initially had Partick Thistle down to win it and of course they're actually still... Can I get proof that you said that? Because the... I don't believe it. Insert the clip right here. <laughs> then the Tunnets come away for Challenge Cup. I changed this at the last minute and it was mainly just to get my own team in. I had it down as Pathic Thistle beforehand. I've got Dunfermline to win the Tonnets Canada Away for Challenge Cup. I do actually have proof, so get up you. But anyway, back to the Pathic Thistle v Connors Key Nomads game. Basically, the road I'm going down with this is that Pathic Thistle are still in the competition. I'm going to back them this weekend because I have always said that in this competition, if a Scottish team is playing a uh, foreign team then I will always back the Scottish team to go on and win it so I'm going to back Perfect Thistle to beat Connors Key Nomads My last game is Adrianians Finally! Here they are! <laughs> so Adrianians are unbeaten in two games and they are fourth in the Scottish League 1 table See I can believe two games Elgin won last week but the week before Brecon actually bet against them bet against them, won against them Wow Breaking! Well. Breaking! The one you love. And they are six in the Scottish League 2 table. So. Who's going to win? I personally think it's going to be a draw by the time full time comes. But I think the Air Geonians are probably going to win in penalties. And go through. And go through just because, again, they're a league above. And finally, I'm going to talk about the Scotland game. Of course, it's. The main reason why there is literally no football on this weekend is International Weekend and it's probably the, a couple of the most pointless Scotland games there is. Obviously you've got players like Lauren Shankland, Declan Gallagher being called into the squad. It's good that they've been called in and I hope Lauren Shankland gets some game time and can hopefully start scoring a few goals and maybe get a regular place in the Scotland setup. Did you see him last week? <laughs> Didn't do much against <laughs> Alloa, granted, but so far this season he's not been entirely he was, bad. He was holding the steam on it. Uh, he's just he was holding it back. Uh, he was holding it back because he knows he's got a Scotland call up. He's going to bag a hat trick easy in this game. It's no prediction, <laughs> it it's just positivity. <laughs> so, yes, I'm going to say that Scotland are going to beat San Marino. That's who they're playing, obviously, on Sunday. And I mean, Scotland should be beating San Marino. Obviously, they beat them away from home last time when it was under Alex McLeish. We only beat them 2 0, and that was classed as a pretty bad result anyway because it's San Marino and they're one of the worst ranked teams in the world of football. So, Scotland should 100% win this one. And as I said, I do hope that Lauren Shankland and any new recruits that come into the Scotland setup can perform well in this game if they get the chance and hopefully get future call ups on top of that. So that's all the games I've chosen to predict this weekend. Now, as usual, the handicap wheel. What game are you going to handicap of mine? Well, the first two games that you predicted, I don't really give two flying birds about, right? Scotland are my homeland. And as you said, they should beat them, so I'm just going to handicap it and hope for the best. Fair enough. It's completely part of the game. I understand. Let's go for it. It's better you. That again? Scotland are losing, what a shame. <laughs> Scotland should be beating San Marino by about four here, so hopefully that's the case. And maybe hopefully Lauren Shankman does actually get that hat trick, because that'll do me quite good. For your sake, fingers crossed, eh? Right, my turn to spin the wheel, let's have a look at your fixtures. I am going to choose Airdrionians versus Elgin to handicap. Don't really know why. It's fine, bad. I've got just as much interest in these fixtures as you do, to be fair. Air Drones v Elgin, and hope for the best. Go for it. Five. Five. Four. <laughs> Two. <laughs> One. V. 
avoid prediction. Don't care. Can I get any points for it? <laughs> Don't care. So you, the maximum points Jenny can get this weekend is two. Obviously, usually it'd be three, but because it's avoid prediction, doesn't count at all. I don't care. I could go points ahead though. Uh, these tiny cups didn't count. <laughs> See when the actual football comes back, you just like. If I gain three points on you this weekend, you'll not be chuffed. You won't. Right, that's it for this week's episode, guys. Cheers for watching. If you did enjoy it, please give it a like. We want... 85 likes. Same as last week. Comment down below your predictions for the games that we've predicted and any other games you're going to this weekend. As always, subscribe for more of this type of content and until the next video, which will be the vlog for Carlisle vs Crew Alexandra, but a different one. Tomorrow, I'll see you then. Cheers, guys. I seen you yesterday. I seen you today. But I won't see you till next week. Bye!